Uh, we're just launching the uh, submersible for a dive on these cliffs behind us and we think that the cliffs probably continue as you can see right now just vertical straight down into the water so we're expecting a lot of life uh, living on that, that vertical wall. Really exciting. It's, it feels quite exciting actually, really exciting. Very, very interested to see what we find on the bottom of the sea floor in Antarctica. <laughs> I'm so excited. I've never <laughs> been on the water and a yellow submarine. Can you believe that? <laughs> so we're going to just descend straight through here and once we reach uh, the depth of about 140, 130, um, we're going to then approach the wall and then you should be able to see it. This is pretty much 100% covered by life. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, it's amazing. Look at all these sponges up here. So why is the productivity so high here, Alex? Uh, it's because you've got um, a very short season. So you get very intense phytoplankton bloom. And there's lots of nutrients in the water. Of course, Southern Ocean is uh, iron limited. Yeah. So you need iron in the water. And of course, near the coast here, there's probably plenty of iron coming in from the glaciers. Absolutely amazing. Absolutely fantastic. I'm a converted marine biologist. I mean, I, I was expecting a lot of sessile marine life. So animals living attached to the uh, sea floor. But I don't think anything prepared me for just how much there was. There was not a single piece of bare rock down at 120 metres. Huge sponges, which of course were providing homes for other animals, so fish, these notothenioid fish. And then as we came up into shallower water, you could start to see where the impact of ice uh, started to occur. So you lost the big old sponges and you had a community of much younger animals. And then of course when we got into very shallow water there were big patches of bare rock just with encrusting pink coralline algae. So uh, a really good sort of lesson I suppose in how ice shapes marine life in, in coastal Antarctic waters. Really great.